Hello everybody, Anthony Traher here and I'm going to teach you how to juggle. But first, um, we're going to have to make our own balls. So we've got some beans, we need some beans. Uh, it could also be like rice or um, anything you've got in the kitchen that's dried food. And, you know, if you're like me, you've got a whole store of uh, unpaired socks. So we're going to choose some socks here, perhaps this one here. That's a very colourful one. And this one's also a very colourful one. And why not uh, a green one? Yes. So, what we're going to do is fill each sock with some beans. Till, yeah, that's quite good. That's probably good, right? And then we're going to fold them round like this. And then just tuck them over at the end. And then we have, look, one brilliant ball. So, I've taught really lots of people how to juggle over the years. And uh, juggling is a really strange thing in the sense that uh, um, we're a little bit afraid. You know, we're a little bit afraid. We're like, ooh, 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 a little bit like this. Or mm, we're just afraid perhaps that we're not going to be able to do it. But who cares? We're just going to give it a go and, and try. So uh, get one of these balls in your hand and we're just going to throw one to each hand like this and perhaps just watch the ball going in the air. Huh? And then we're going to start to clap our hands. We're going to do this for a bit. And then the, the next step is throw it in the air and clap behind us as well. So one, two, tuck, 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 Yeah! Posse al ja. Oh, I was speaking in Italian now. And we can, um, we can, oh yeah! We can already congratulate ourselves with this great success with one ball. Uh, there's lots of things we can do with one ball. Let's have some more fun with one ball. Throw it under our leg, throw it under the other leg, uh, then we can catch it over the leg, catch it over the leg, and we can throw it up really high and catch it in the same hand. Uh, you can spin around and catch it again. Uh, we can put it here, go to sleep. Let's grab another ball. So we've got two balls now. So um, before we start doing anything at all, and unfortunately, juggling, let me say, juggling is all about breaking our old habits. Um, so we, to learn something new, we have to break, we have to sort of go beyond what we've just learned. And lots of us have learned this with two balls, right? This unfortunately is one of the greatest um, obstacles to learning to juggle with three balls. Yep, that's how it is. But uh, uh, so... We, to break this habit, we need to be really aware and watch what's going on. And perhaps breathe, that's like a deep breath. So now, we're going to do this rhythm. Bop, duff, duff, duff. In the same hands, just throw it up and down. Duff, duff, tick, duff, tick, duff, tick, duff, tick, duff. Yeah? Is it going? Perhaps the left hand needs a bit more attention. Let the ball come down. Don't just uh, go up towards it and let it come down. And perhaps very delicately softening the landing. That's it. Make it really, really soft. And then perhaps two at the same time. There's really lots of different ways of learning to juggle. Um, Let's use our brains and be creative and and um, so we want to go on with three balls now. Let's do a very simple pattern that my friend Sylvain calls the French Cascade, uh, and why not? Some people call it the Fragmented Cascade. Um, I'm being a bit overly technical with the terms now. I'm sorry about that. But this, the like the normal juggling pattern, this is the Cascade, okay? And it's a bit like a waterfall, if you like. So, French Cascade, a lot easier than, the, than this one. And what we're going to do is have two in our right hand and one 
in our left hand or the other way around if our, in, in our dominant hand let's say and um, we're going to throw one across up and then this one here we're just going to throw it straight up in the air up. brilliant no and then on the other side we're going to do one across and then one up in the air easy peasy so we're going to make it a bit more fluid so cross and up cross up cross up cross up cross up cross up cross up we need to try these things a little bit perhaps i'm doing it a bit short now try it a little bit pause this video and come back to it but please don't give in to this voice that says ah i told you so you couldn't do it please don't give in to this just try try uh, leave a comment write to me and I'll try and give you some encouragement and uh, some advice to go beyond this But the French cascade is a really cool thing to put on some music and um, And dance with and you see we always have this one ball Which does it with which goes backwards and forwards like a tennis right? and this ball We can throw this one under our leg if we like under our leg Or over our shoulder no the shoulder is the other one this one you see, the one on the same hand can do all sorts of things. It can go behind us, go under the leg. It can go in the hand here, um, duck, duck. We can do all sorts of cool things with it. So up, tick, 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 tick. Play around for this for a while. Then we're ready for the cascade. Whew. Now, this might need some patience okay but right now we have got time or most of us have got time to, to de dedicate to this so put on some music that you love and um we can uh, I'll, I'll explain the, the the basics okay we have like a square above us i'm going to go and aim to throw in the corners so i'm going to throw this and then throw this when do i throw i throw when the ball is at the top Look at the rhythm, it's really, really slow. Duck, duck, don't try it, I'm explaining everything. Duck, 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 duck. So, yeah, I know I make it look easy. For everybody, it's difficult because we're learning new things, our brain is gathering all this data, it's putting it all together, and it really is a huge um, um, growth for our brain. Can we say that, a growth for our brain? It, it um, it can get unstuck of loads of different situations. It can be like a, an incredibly exciting event, learning to juggle. Um, so anyway, we always start with a ball, the hand that has two objects. Because if I start with this hand, which would be comfortable, because I've just got one hand in there, um, it doesn't, I can't, I can't, uh, juggling is like weaving, you see? We're weaving. Weaving or making a plait, so we need the one, the one with two, and we're going to go one, two, stop. Okay, so duck, 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 duck. And um, what might happen is that we're doing this. You see, we're whipping this under the bottom here. If this happens, really say, okay, concentrate, feel the balls in your hands after a while you'll get it okay so you you hold this ball and say and really think i'm just going to throw it this one here is easy now okay this one we're going to go up so up you know it's it's almost boom. it might just even do that sort of thing don't worry just as long as it goes up rather than across okay this is automatic behavior this is up up in the air so we're really breaking old habits here you know it's the 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 analogy of juggling with learning in general and getting unstuck and moving into joy and playfulness they're, they're, they're just huge parallels here so anyway um, <laughs> I hope I'm telling you uh, I'm, I'm filling with enthusiasm and reasons to learn to juggle okay and uh, perhaps it could be just to show your kids you know, so you, or, or perhaps your children anyway but um, it's a good thing to show look 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 look, look. Da, 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 da. anyway so one two now three so this this one two might take ages eh and it could be a good time to start on the left hand as well one two one two get this going so then three one two three stop 
Listen to the rhythm. Duck, duck, duck. Ba, ba, ba. And you know, it's um, this will happen again. This will throw under here. This will throw under here. And you'll get annoyed and frustrated. Uh, do some press ups, shake, and then go back and say, okay, now I want to be really aware of what's going on. So up, swap, up, up, up. You know, it can help us to say up, up, up. And if they fall on the floor, laugh at it. It's part of the thing. You know, pick them up and go again. So up, two, three. And you know something? The most difficult of all these throws is the fourth one. Because we're like, our brain doesn't get it, you know. It says three props, four throws. Where's the fourth throw? We don't, just don't get it. But um, the thing is, we don't have to get it. You know, we just concentrate on throwing and catching. So one, two, three, four. And then he's like, whoa, I throw it. But lots of people, they get stuck on the fourth one. So it's like one, two, three, uh, and they didn't throw it before they catch it. So if this is our case, we get stuck there. We need to go back, watch what we're doing, calm ourselves down, visualize. One, two, three, four. You see, there is time for it, but it's really what we have to do is after we throw, don't worry about that ball anymore. Concentrate on catching. So I'm I'm throwing and I'm just I'm I'm concentrating on catching it. So you know if I follow this, I, I can't follow everything at the same time. So I know I've thrown that well, and my brain after a while gets this power this uh, this curve in the brain and, and it starts working out. So after I've done four, then I got to five, and then I just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and it's going to be brilliant. So please take your time. It might take you an hour, it might take you two hours, it might take you a week, it might take you a month. Just like, just go in there and dive into it. And um, if you want to know uh, another motivating factor, um, I always say to people, you know it when you can do 30 catches. You know, so this gives us stimulate, because otherwise you go like, oh, I, I could do it. 30 catches, put it in my hands, and then you're done. I wrote this book, Fells of Juggling. It won't teach you how to juggle. It's uh, about uh, bringing the art, um, art in general, into juggling. So where juggling is robotic, if I start to put my own expression into it, what does it mean? How do I, um, how do I make a show? How do I make sequences? Um, it's a great analogy in general about um, <clears throat> getting out of being technical it's not just juggling with technical, with technical and everything, and how to put ourselves in there, how to bring our humanity into what we do. Um, it's a beautiful book. I'm just gonna flick through the pages. There's some incredible illustrations. So if you learn to juggle, please let me know. Um, have a great day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.